this place is massive. I just miss Santa. I am totally in my element in this store, guys. I'm here outside Christmas Place in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and I thought it'd be really fun to take you guys with me as I check it out. This is everything I've ever dreamed of when it comes to a Christmas store and a really, really festive place to visit during the holiday season. Look at this giant tree and it's spinning around. It's so fast I love it. There's Rachel, she had a little sneak peek inside. <laughs> They've got this cute little set up here as well with the reindeer, the clock. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love it. They've all got 25 on the doors. Christmas day, of course. All right, let's head on inside. Christmas place. Okay, left or right, Rach? Left. left. Let's go for it. This place is massive. Oh my gosh. Wow. Honestly, this is like a Christmas lover's paradise. And I mean, I guess this place is here all year round because it's called Christmas Place. <laughs> um, but we've just come at the most appropriate time in the build up to Christmas. Wow, look at these wooden. So what is this? This one's an advent calendar. They're so pretty. And I guess this is more of an ornament. And like $90, that's not bad because that is gorgeous. They've got these little mini ones as well. Aren't they so pretty? Oh my gosh. I'm in heaven. I'm honestly in Christmas heaven right now. So my sort of theme, I guess, for my Christmas tree is snowy, white. So there's so much stuff here that would go in my flat. I want it all. I love this little Christmas tree candle thing. It's got like the fake candle light at the top. I think that's really cute. I have to think about what I can actually transport home in terms of size and also what's not going to be super breakable as well because oh then again I want this moose is he a reindeer or a moose he looks like a moose they've got this little guy around he kind of looks like naughty or something oh he is like the elf on the shelf he sounds like a fancy elf on a shelf he is cool I love his little sweater Oh, does this say what it is? It's a moose, I was right. Sometimes you feel real silly when you say these things. <laughs> All right, I like this too, the little gnome, Noel, Joy. Oh gosh, I want everything, I want everything. I love this candle holder. That's really pretty. Noel. Oh my God, Rachel, we could be here all day. Okay, right, first thing that's caught my eye then to possibly add to my tree is this little bauble with a robin on it. It's $7.99 and they also have kind of like a matching one in a different shape there. What do you call them? Like a sort of like a teardrop shape? Oh, is that a dog or fox? It says fox slash squirrel. So, I mean, oh, that's the fox and then that's the squirrel. <laughs> the squirrel's really cute as well. I wonder if it's heavy though. Oh, it's really light. Oh, I could put that on my tree. That's the thing, like, I love these bigger decorations and they're always so pretty, but when they're heavy, like, you can't get them on the tree. They just weigh the tree down. I also love this little snowman. You can just sit him down as well. I think he's only $6. Okay, I might need to get him. He might need to come home with me. They've got a big selection then of glass ornaments. Probably the absolute opposite of what I want to be trying to bring home, but they're really pretty. And $8.99 is not too bad. Okay, here are the very expensive, but very intricate ornaments. These are all up to like $100 pretty much. Very like traditional, colorful. I wonder if they're hand painted. Just trying to figure out the high price tag. I assume it must be something like that. But they're so nice. I love that sort of traditional style. I was just saying to Rachel that most people here have little trolleys and I want a trolley. 
Then she reminded me that I have to fit everything into my suitcase. Oh, that's cool. Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I love the bear as well. Not sure if I've mentioned, if you know already, but we're staying on Black Bear Lane. <laughs> Uh, when we found that out, um, Rachel was a little bit worried. <laughs> I was a little bit worried too, to be honest. We haven't spotted any bears yet though. All right, we're gonna head on through to the next room. Honestly, this is like a maze in here. You could definitely get lost. So much stuff. Oh, I love the Coca-Cola polar bear. Oh, that is cool. Oh, I like that. Is that glass or is that? Oh, they have the polar bear as well. This one is super cute as well. Look, he's got an oversized hat on his head. He's the Coca-Cola polar bear. I think this sign was literally made for me. My jeans keep telling me no more Christmas cookies. Well, my leggings are like, we got you, boo. <laughs> I don't think over Christmas, I'll be wearing anything but leggings because you need that extra space, you know? Love the Santa mug as well. But then look at all these ornaments. Love these. I'm just in my element. This is so dangerous. I want everything. Santa, you know him. I was expecting him to be really expensive. He's $20. Oh dear, I might have to get him wrapped up. I could put him in the carry-on. He'd be grand. Oh, there's different ones as well. I like this one. Oh, but then there's the one holding his belly. Oh, I like this one, I think. What do you think? This one has a sack. Yeah, he has a sack and he has a little candy cane. Okay, Santa is in the basket. I wanted to get a trolley, but Rachel told me I have to get a basket. So we spotted this color change in mug. It says, friends are the family you choose. And then it changes to little doggos. And it's got a Frenchie. Has it got a pug? No, just a Frenchie. Well, if I had a pug, it would have to be a must buy. That's really cute though. They have these super cute, great Smoky Mountain bears. So this tree is giving me proper traditional Christmas vibes. Our tree used to be super, super colorful, just like this. Love it. They've got some Disney stuff here as well. I love the Grinch ornaments as well. They're so cool. And look at Stitch with his lights. That is cute. More Grinch. And then look, we've got the Fab Five. Oh, it's more than the Fab Five. Fab Six, is that a thing? One, two, three, four, five, there's seven of them. Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Goofy's an extra one in the background. <laughs> Goofy's there, look. Look at Santa and Mrs. Claus. Look, she's made him some cookies. Looks like sugar cookies, gingerbread man, and then he's got a pie. I love that. I am totally in my element in this store, guys. This gingerbread man is super cute. I've got a snowman over here as well. I need some more adjectives. I'm just like, I love this. This is cute. I love this, but it's true. <laughs> They've got some festive bacon bits then as well. They've got this really cute pastel colored section. These are really cool as well. I like the gingerbread house. This one's my favorite. Definitely can't take that home though. <laughs> oh, what does this one say? When what to my wondering eyes should appear but 10 extra pounds on my thighs on my rear. <laughs> Rachel, these little signs are made for me. Oh, that's another Santa statue and some more houses. They've got some more black bear decorations for the Smoky Mountains. And some really cute wooden ones as well. The prices are so decent too. They even have Christmas Monopoly or Christmas Sopoly. <laughs> Look, that's so cool. Some beautiful garlands. And then look, they've got a plane. It does specify that it's for display purposes only, so we can't take it home. What are you so excited about? It's Santa? Do you know him? <laughs> okay guys, I'm just awkwardly like around the corner now, but I just miss Santa. <laughs> and I had a little selfie with him and he was really nice, but like, why did he make me nervous? <laughs> like I'm a little child all over again. 
These little light up ornaments are super cool. Oh, they have a doggo one as well, a little acrylic dog. They're really nice ones though, aren't they? And $30 as well, like the prices aren't bad at all. You can see they've got the options down here. Oh, look, <laughs> that is so cute. And they've got little reindeer, Santa with a sleigh. So I found another area with characters. They've got such a big selection. Okay, let's go in for a closer look. You could literally make your own little Christmas village here. Look at the crayon store. It's got the spinning crayons. We've got Christmas quilts. Oh, you've got little Snoopy doing marshmallows. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, Pip and Pop's Bubble Works. We've got a little pizza place here. Santa's Hot Cocoa Cafe. This is so cute. If I lived near enough to this place that I could buy some stuff and take it home, it would be so dangerous because I want so much. We've got our little Christmas truck here, all packed up to head home. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at the size of those ornaments. What'd you do with that? I guess you might like put it in a hallway or something. This feels so weird, but really nice. Yeah, I think it's one of those things that like when your brain doesn't think that it's gonna be the texture that it is, it just like messes with your brain. <laughs> You can get a 70 inch plush deer with antlers for $1,429.99. He does look very fancy though. I think these are my favorite little black bear ones so far. I think I might go for this one. That's a nice memento from the trip. After staying on Black Bear Lane, they have a whole section then for personalized decorations and you can get them personalized in store. They have some awesome dog ones for personalization. We're having a look though. I was trying to see if I could see one that looks like Pumba. There is a pug, but he just doesn't look like Pumba very much. I guess that's the tricky thing with a mixed breed, but you know, he doesn't really look like Buzz either. He's a little bit dark. They also have Santa Experience the Magic and then Mrs. Claus's Sweet Shop. So we have to go into Mrs. Claus's Sweet Shop. This place is so cute. They have so many flavors of fudge. Rachel is gonna be in her element. Apple pie, chocolate mint, bear butter. That sounds good. Peanut butter, tiger butter maple maple walnut chocolate walnut chocolate pecan butter pecan wow oh they've got peppermint bark as well look at all the chocolate options too oh my gosh this place is amazing they also have a little ice cream parlor too well guys that is going to do it for this shop with me make sure you are subscribed there's plenty more content like this coming your way and i hope you're having a lovely build up to the holiday season live your life within the moment moment and don't go wait until the morning morning you never know when it is over